Nokia cocktail. Uh, the previous night I had a Bellini, which um, also famous here. I had some Venetian food recommended by our waiter, which was delicious. I mean, obviously, being in a lagoon, the fish is lovely. There's my signs. Got to go left. They also have on the ground. A lot of it, I think, I don't think that's Italian, I think a lot of it is um, Latin. They have all these little signs as well telling you how to get to certain places on the ground. And especially when we're in Murano where the glass is made. Um, they're on a lot of the walls, sort of like plaques. I shall head back now to my hotel. I think this one's behind me. Oh yes, I am. My shadow. People are wondering why I'm waving at myself. So it's my last morning in Venice. Thank you, thank you for the welcome to Venice. I um, just want to tell you one really sad because this is actually my last day. This is a delivery man. There's no vehicles. The only thing on wheels are push chairs. And obviously the trolleys making the deliveries. It does get really busy, but other than that, you don't have to dodge any traffic. I think it's going to be quite odd to see a car or a bus later on today. It makes it really quiet as well. That's the church. It must be 8 o'clock. Although it does seem to be quite random. Sometimes the church bells just ring and it's not anything the clock. And they just seem to chime. Okay. Because I think this is where we were earlier. Actually, do you know, I'm at the back of the fruit stall, so let's go around the other side. All the fruit laid out, dried fruit. Oh my goodness, look at those watermelons. Good morning, Pixie. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Very well, thank you. Hello, nice lady. Come I do know, I do know Bongiorno. Oh, he's trying to get me to buy something. I should tell him I don't have my money on me. Which is true. <laughs> Lovely and fresh. It always looks so beautiful. <laughs> they also make up little fruit cups, so you can buy like little mixed fruit cups as well, which is really lovely and easy to eat. I've actually not tried one. My sister had one. I just a bit just to try. It. I don't know, I'm going to go up to the bridge, I don't know if you can see this um, on the periscope, but you get the beautiful reflection with the sun shining on the water, you get the beautiful reflection on the top of the bridges when you're underneath them. It was lovely when you're going through with the gondola, because it, you can really see it because you're actually under the bridge. And, uh, but I don't know if it will come out on the periscope. I hope it does for anyone who hasn't seen that. Beautiful. In fact, I think I 
way back where I had dinner last night, I think if I go to the bridge, you might recognise it. I'm a bit disappointed. I've only had two proposals of marriages from waiters so far. You know, I've been out six times, so I'm not, I'm not sure they have very good up there. Oh, I've taken some pictures of some police boats. The ambulances go faster. We've only seen two ambulances, thankfully. Um, yeah, but the police go past. That's really lovely. Two, two pictures down there. But there's, there's different police. Um, Someone was explaining to me initially they have two sort of types of police. I think they have the Venetian police and the Italian police. <laughs> they do have sirens and um, they're just like on top of the boat. And uh, they, th we haven't seen the police use their sirens. We have um, heard the ambulances use their sirens. But they speed along because there's a speed limit, obviously, on the canals because the wash from the boat damages the, the walls. And so there's a speed limit, but when the... Um, when the police or the ambulance go past at high speed, the wash is really great. And if you're in a gondola, you fear for your life, I think. It's not that it would matter if you fell in. I think the water's quite clean. It hasn't been at all smelly. Everyone told me that Venice is smelly. It's not at all smelly. It, it smells of the sea. Diesel. Not often, I have to say. I, it smells really fresh, and it's always a lovely cool breeze. And when you're on the water, um, it, it really cools down. It's, it's been about around about 28 degrees every day. Uh, it really gets really hot in the sun, but you know, with all the little alleyways, there's always uh, you're often in the shade. And when you're in the shade, it's just, um, I've been really lucky. It's been a lovely temperature, just right. It's not too hot. And uh, always a slight breeze. There's another sign telling me how to get back. Now it's in Ferrovia, but I know this is the general direction. Ferrovia is um, the nearest water bus stop to me. I haven't seen any boat accidents. Uh, there's some near misses. When you're on the gondolas, I don't speak any Italian, but um, they, they clearly shout out that they're coming from the left or the right when they're going under blind corner. Um, but it's so skilled. I mean, you do go quite slow, but well, relatively. It seems really slow in the gondola. I'm sure it's quite hard work for the gondolier, but um, you feel like you're going to hit the wall, but you just manages to turn the, turn the gondola just in time and, and you don't. So they haven't seen any accidents. Though to be honest, oh, we went out to, which I've said several times, sorry, we went out to Murano, to the glass factory, and you sort of have to go through the lagoon. And um, in the water they have the posts which mark out the waterways that you use in the lagoon. You can't just go anywhere in the water. I think you have to stick to these waterways. And um, people are going around in quite fast speedboats. And we were coming along in our water bus, which go quite slowly, even when they're in the lagoon. They're obviously limited in speed. And they were going quite slowly. And we could see all this traffic crossing really fast in front of us. And we had to cross like this water highway. And uh, it, was, it was quite scary. We didn't think we were going to make it, but uh, uh, clearly the Venetians know what they're doing. And we seem to get across with no incidents. But um, I don't know, they seem to be very close. That was great fun. The only place I haven't been that I'd have liked to have gone here is um, the Lido or Lido, which is one of the islands. And I believe that's where the beaches are. So if you want to go to the beach. That's pretty, isn't it? Arch. So if you want to go to the beach, you can get a ferry out there, or one of the water buses. We did so much on the first day here. Well, not our first day. Our first day, we just wandered around and had a nice look and went to Rialto Bridge. On the second day, we did so much. I think we exhausted ourselves. We've been getting up about half an hour later every day. And uh, 
I'm quite tired. In that respect, I'd be glad to go home just to recuperate. But um, I will really miss it here. It's so lovely. Oh look, there's a lovely garden in here. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely little garden, a tranquil in it. I don't know if you can see, but at the, at the end of the path, slightly to the right, I've got their private jetty. Do you know, I think if I came again, it's quite... Um, we didn't do it because it seemed like quite a, a lot of money, but it, it wasn't really. It was about 30, 30 or 40 euros per head. But your hotel will pick you up in a water boat and take you directly to the hotel. And I have to say, I think that'd be a really beautiful way to arrive in Venice. The nicest way is the cruise ships. They don't actually, um, apparently they don't actually go into the port. A lot of them actually go to San Marco, St. Mark Square. And they go directly there and it's just beautiful because the canal's really wide there because it goes out into the lagoon. And, and as you're approaching it, as, as we did from the water bus yesterday from Murano, uh, it just looks beautiful. You know, you see the Doja Palace and the tower and you can see, sort of see the open of St. Mark Square. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. And it was lovely St. Mark's Square. We got there about half ten and it was um, quite quiet, similar to the amount of people here. But by lunchtime, it was just so busy. Um, it was really difficult to find somewhere uh, just to stop and eat. Uh, it was really, really busy. And every time you want to go and look at something like the museum or the church or the tower, it was like, um, it wasn't too bad, it was about a half hour queue. But in total, I um, spent about an hour and a half in queues that morning. But, uh, the museum, if you love museum, it was worthwhile. You go over the Bridge of Sighs, which is a, a famous bridge uh, just off St. Mark's Square, which was from the prison, and it's where the prisoners were taken to their execution and the Romantics said it was the Bridge of Sighs because obviously these people were quite upset that they were going to be executed. Um, and the, you know, so it was, it was the only way to see the Bridge of Sighs from the inside. You can see it from the outside and take photographs very easily. Um, so it was worth doing the museum, but once you go in, they take you on a set route, you can't just wander. So once you're in, you're committed, and so you have to go all the way around. Um, it was really interesting, but um, quite tiring. Um, we weren't expecting to be in there quite so long. Right, I thought I knew where I was going, but I don't recognise this bit. I think I'm going to sit there and tell in a minute. Yeah, I think this is my bridge. I've got my dome there, my reference point. That's what I'm looking for. So just to our right, about a quarter of a mile away, um, or you sort of got the train station, then you've got the car park and the bus station, and all, all uh, road traffic has to stop there. And then you're either on the water or, or by foot. Okay, well it's been a lovely walk today. I'm really sorry if I haven't seen any comments. <laughs> it, it's really quiet without Javid. <laughs> and uh, lovely to get up early. Um, Bye. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Right, I'm just going to sign off. Lovely, really busy view of Venice. And this will be my last periscope from here, which makes me really sad because I really don't want to go. But uh, it's time and I have to. And it'd be lovely to get back to the really hot weather in the UK.